All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back with the one, the only, the god of Kingdom Rush heroes himself, Munchie, also known as Voduk. Say what's up. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Guys, I've been waiting for this collab for a long time, and I am super hyped for today's episode, and I hope you are as well, Voduk. You are going to be playing the Dark Tower on veteran mode because we are suckers for pain, but we like the pain, and it's going to help carry us to victory today. At least uh, that's kind of what I had as in terms of a plan. I, I hope you have a plan because I sure as heck don't because you're going to be telling me how to play the level. So, yeah. That's pretty much that. Well, I'll have you go ahead and start off by picking a hero and some star upgrades. Oh, so the hero can be anybody, right? Yep, any person you want. Doesn't matter if it's the weakest mm. or the best. <laughs> well, I don't know if I should flex and pick, like, Bolin or something. Oh, or God. Just... Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll pick uh, the Chonk himself, Ignis. Oh, Ignis. Good choice. Good choice. Yes. Yeah, so he's going to be fun to micro through you because he's going to be dashing all over the place. Exactly. So we get extra chaotic. Oh, it should be a lot of fun. And you have 33 stars to work with. So go ahead and tell me what you want me to spend on upgrades. All right, let's beeline to the spear upgrade for the reinforcements. All right. I feel like that's the important one. Always. You have 18 um, left. Let's see. Max artillery. Max artillery. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, Tesla OP. <laughs> oh, duh. Um, right. Of course, I figured you should use one of those. And then, why not just uh, put the rest of the points into Reign of Fire? All right, so we've got Reign of Fire, level 3, and then Reign of yeah. Reinforcements, I should say, excuse me, at level 5, and the same thing for Artillery. You have one star upgrade left. Where do you want to yeah, let's get that? some beefy. Um, let's get some beefy soldiers with that uh, barracks upgrade, Toughness. Toughness training, indeed. All right, so Dark Tower, a bit of a difficult map to play on, but also a very fun one, especially with these little pentagrams and the artwork. It is good you made it this far, Voduk. Your head will make a fine addition to my collection. Wait, he didn't say it. Oh, now there he goes. I, I went too soon. Awkward. All right, anyways. Yeah, that's how evil he is. He's too to you. <laughs> exactly. All right, so you have 1,300 gold at the start. Tell me where you would like to start with spending your money. Okay, so the three strategic points nearest to the exit, um, I want them all to be barracks. Wow, very hard yeah, middle just decision. Very. So there we go, just already off the back. Barracks spam galore. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so that that one that's, that's nearest to the exit, um, see if we can rally them to the very leftmost edge of the range. Okay. All right, good enough, I suppose. And then try to connect all of the rally points to those, um, to, yeah. the, to the same spot. Oh, that's that gonna way be, they can all be... Uh, that'll be a little difficult with this middle one because of its limited range capacity. But this one, we should be able to get pretty far down. It's pretty, it's pretty yeah, close. The, the good thing about having them somewhat separate is that the um, Infernal Combustion Explosions won't be as powerful, right? Because they won't hit all of them at once. Right, but even so, I always thought that was true damage and not physical. That was surprising when you t informed me about that. I was very... Oh, yeah, it's a relief, isn't it? <laughs> well, in some ways, more than others, I'm kind of a little outraged at how much damage they deal just for it being physical. You know, but at the same time, I suppose, yeah, it would be worse if it was true damage, but even so, that aside. All right, you've got 1,090 gold left. I do. Yes. Um, let's think about this, then. Probably, so, this... I don't know how to describe this. The strategic point that's near the graveyard, but still in this bottom row. Yeah, yeah that one. Right yeah. Uh, yeah, let's get a Tesla. Okay. And I don't believe that I can afford overcharge with that just yet. Just yet. But that would be my goal. You're only 30 gold yes. off. Yeah. Oh, I should have microed Ignis up to the top. Um, let me let me look at the waves again. I don't know the wave composition off of memory, so Necromancer I gotta Necromancer comes out the right along with some bandits and brigands at the left side as demon hounds and demon spawn. I actually have these all memorized because I've played this stupid level so many times. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of have an idea of some of the waves. Like, I know that there's a point where three um, Necromancers spawn on both sides, right. like towards the middle. And some page, matriarchs. Or maybe there's four. Yeah, yeah, that too, and, and Rocket Riders. That middle part is, like, the hardest part. When I did this with two Teslas only, that was the hardest part of the level. Oh, I'm sure. Besides the bomb. Oh, yeah. All right, then. So I, I suppose we should move Ignis up to the rightmost path because... Or the rightmost entrance. 
because I don't want the demon hounds to be dodging his attacks. I want to get him nice and leveled up. Okay, so we'll put him around about here. All right, so before starting the wave, I would say place reinforcements under the strategic point that's nearest to Veznon. So on the left, uh, the top left strategic point. So like right here or here? Uh, underneath it. So like right here. So right um, here. by this first pentagram at the top. Now move to the left a little bit. I want them to be able to snipe the upper part of the path with their spears. I see what you mean. So like right here. Yeah, so they can reach those demon hounds. Gotcha. Okay. Are you ready to begin? <laughs> I hope so. I, I've, um, I'm somewhat familiar with this because of... Uh, well, it's probably too long to explain, but I'm somewhat familiar with this. All so right. hopefully I can do this. Well, fingers crossed. Good luck. And remember, even if you do lose the level for any reason due to stream lag or suddenly not being able to see the stream or whatnot, hopefully that doesn't happen knocking on wood right now. Uh, but if you were to lose all of your lives, I would go through and show you my strategy for beating the level. But all you have to do is just beat the level. It doesn't matter how many lives you have. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much that. And we will get started in three, two, one, and we're off. Let's see what you're made of. So we put down reinforcements. Hopefully they'll be able to throw their spears. Okay, they can kind of get around the path a little it bit. Good. All right. So once that necromancer spawns, oh, place reinforcements at the pentagram, the top one. Yeah, I assumed you meant this one. Uh, move exit to the graveyard. Okay. Oh, it's going to be great trying to hold the conversation while I give instructions. Exactly. Um, and then when the necromancer starts spawning skeletons, drop rain of fire. Oh, now. Oh, he's still alive. Well, whatever. Uh, upgrade overcharge, and then place reinforcements underneath the Tesla. Okay. Yeah, good enough. And then call the wave early. Press W. Yep. Let me get that goal and upgrade that. Oh, you already knew that I was going to do that, huh? Well, I figured, <laughs> like a, I was, I, I figured you might want to, so I was just hovering over it, but I, something gave me the intuition that might be the route you were going to take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just beeline to max overcharge. Uh, right. That's an instruction, by the way, since we have the gold for it. All and place right. reinforcements in the same spot as before. Uh, Rain of fire on the uh, furthest down skeleton knight. That should grab all those guys. And then uh, well, let's, let's wait for the reinforcements to be ready and then spawn them in the same spot. Okay. And then call the wave and then spawn more reinforcements in that spot. That yeah. should take care of that demon in there. Nice tactic. Yeah, I try and tell my subscribers to go for that same strategy where you put down a set of reinforcements, call the wave, and then put down another one. Just gives you that much more firepower, and it's great to be able to spam reinforcements at this level since they're maxed out. So Right. All right, let's send Ignis over to the demon lord and then spawn reinforcements nearby to snipe at him. So maybe underneath that strategic point that's empty. Right here. Uh, yeah, down there. Yeah, I think they can reach him, right? Yeah, Apparently. there we go. <laughs> the top one can, yeah, they, anyways. <laughs> well, they've done over 100 damage somehow, so that's good enough for me. Uh, build a Tesla in the strategic point that's nearest to the Demon Lord right now. Oh, boy. So yeah, like that right one. Here. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're just going to well, upgrade the Arch. We can get him to level 2 at the level. moment. We're not going to be able to afford a Tesla for just a little wee while. Yeah, yeah, maybe I should only give possible instructions. All right, send Ignis back to the Skeleton Knights at the Graveyard. And then uh, drop reinforcements in front of the Demon Lord and plop Rain of Fire on him. I'm just going to burn him immediately. And then call the wave. Nice. Upgrade to nice. level 3 artillery. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And then uh, reinforcements right next to Ignis. Oh, well, he moved just in time. That's exactly what I was anticipating yeah. Um, yeah. happening when I picked him. I knew this would happen. Oh, that's actually a really good spot for the reinforcements. They, uh, they're yeah, safe. Yeah, they're throwing their right, spears. On the right of the pentagram there. Over which pentagram? <laughs> yeah, that, that pentagram. Yeah, sorry. I said over there because it was nearest to your pointer. Gotcha. All right, then move Ignis up to those Dark Knights nearest him. Ah, uh, the Dank Knights, yes. <laughs> Love these All guys. All right, and then uh, reinforcements next to Ignis. <laughs> he moved yet again. We'll and see. then I might as well call the wave early and then upgrade to Tesla in the middle there. Okay. Nice. Good, good thing about um, playing on Steam is that you can spam W to get um, a faster achievement. Or not achievement, but speedrun time. Right. Well, you better watch out. I'm going to be starting to go for a lot of people's speedrun times because I've been uploading to speedrun.com recently. I don't know if you watched one of my most recent live streams. It was an actual celebratory 10th anniversary of Kingdom Rush speedrun that I did for the original game. So that was fun. Yeah, I saw the uh, message that you sent to me with the link there. Uh, place reinforcements at the bottom pentagram. Or Pentagon. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, Pentagram is fine. That's the name of it, technically. 
All right, so let's get an Archer Tower to the right of the bottom Tesla. Okay. Yeah, there we go, even though I don't have any star upgrades for them. And then uh, upgrade it to level 3. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to beeline for a Ranger's Hideout and try to get Wrath of the Forest there. Oh, nice uh, idea. Reinforcements on that Skeleton Knight that's closest to the exit. Um, Might as well plop Rain of Fire on the bottom Marauder. Yeah, and they call the wave. All right. Ooh, we there we go. Vesnan's starting uh, to use oh. those pentagrams. Yeah. Oh, no, the stream's frozen. Okay, good. It, it went back. Uh-oh. All right. Um, did a demon lord just spawn from that middle one? Yes. He Or no, not from the middle one, but from this, yeah, this pentagram right here. Where from the top one? Yeah. Oh, nice. What luck. I'm going to get a lot of gold from that. Okay, reinforcements at the bottom pentagram. Okay. Uh, and then upgrade to ranger's hideout and get level one wrath of the forest. Okay. Now get level two. <laughs> We, we just got enough gold. Yeah. Um, okay, might as well put Rain of Fire um, right in front of the Demon Lord. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And then block those Demon Hounds of Reinforcements and uh, call the wave. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So I believe the Rocket Riders are going to come out. So yep. place Reinforcements at the top left entrance there to start, you know, sniping those guys. And then do the same on the right side when they recharge. Sure. And upgrade to... Um, max level poison errors when, when enough gold is available. Okay. Which should be right about now. Yeah. All right. And then plop Rain of Fire right in that uh, middle of those demons there. Okay. Yeah, to hit all of the nice, guys. Nice, yeah. nice. Okay, so reinforcements behind those barracks. Hold on. And call the wave and get more reinforcements. Yeah. Now upgrade the um, furthest to the front barracks. Okay. To. You... Do paladins. Oh, all the way to paladins? Okay. Yeah, and we're going to get Holy Strike to max level. Oh, wow. Okay, going for yeah. an aggressive spam strategy. Yeah, more reinforcements where the other ones were. Nice. And Reign of Fire on the right side of the Necromancers. Okay. Or the right side Necromancers, yeah. Now, what else should I do? Um, Just a actually, reminder, it, your Tesla at the top does not have overcharge. Oh, well, I know what to do next then. Let's upgrade Overcharge. Yeah, just thought as a suggestion. Yeah, I had to um, beeline to the Ranger's Hideout um, Poison Arrows for those fine enemies. And might as well max that one out, too. The Wrath of the Force or the Poison Arrows? Uh, Both when I get enough gold, but might as well do uh, Poison first since uh, sure. Necromancy is right here. Right. Yeah, and then Reinforcements behind Ignis. Okay. Yeah, hopefully a relative term like behind makes sense right. in this context. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, when they're ready, put reinforcements on the left entrance and then call the wave. Yeah, like that. And then put reinforcements behind those reinforcements. Okay. Oh, wait, you have to tell me to click the um, yep, towers? You have to tell me to click the towers. You have to tell me how to do everything. I can't... Oh, wait, you have to tell you each individual click? Like, click once, <laughs> click twice? No, 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 no. Okay. Maybe not that detailed, but still. Okay, click the rangers. And then click the paladins. <laughs> oh, great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a sore throat saying that every single time. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, that should be fun. I know, maybe I should have just done Forsaken Valley. It's alright. Bring it on. I like the challenge. Click those towers. <laughs> How about this? I'll, 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 I'll save you from having to tell me to click that because that would be kind of annoying. I'll click those for you if they pop up. Yeah, I'm, a, it's... I'm an experienced clicker. I'm pretty fast. so. Cookie clicker. Yeah, it's cookie clicker simulation. Oh yeah, you, you know which ones to prioritize, right? Like Tesla's first, then Archer's. Right. Of course, yeah. Okay. Uh, reinforcements on the left, and then let's max out the Where other on upgrade. The left? On the, uh... <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, by, by the left Tesla. Like underneath it. Okay. All right, and then um, move Ignis down a little to reach those matriarchs. Which matriarchs? And... I'm not just kidding. <laughs> the ones that are down. Yeah. Uh, and then let's max out the Tesla in the middle with the other upgrade. Supercharge, right? You gotta free it first. This one or this one? Actually, let's do both. Might as well, right? Oh, yeah, we're sending a lot of cash, yeah. Yeah, okay, so reinforcements on the top left. Okay. And then call the wave. And then reinforcements in the same spot. And then free those towers. Yeah, yeah with you, the barracks, you can order. kind of ignore it, but the Teslas, those are... Yeah, it's still respawning. Yeah. All right, then. So I'm going to get a Bertha next to the Rangers. Interesting. Okay. Did you want me to... Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, we, we can upgrade that later. Okay. I, I need the gold for um, Let's you know, the big, big Bertha, Bertha right then. now. 
Yeah, I see, I still don't have enough gold for it. Wow. Okay, reinforcements in go. front of the dark player, and then rain of fire on him. Oh, we got him now. The big Bertha, that is. Yeah. So. There you go. Perfect. And then dragon breath missile or launcher. I forget what. Didn't yeah, they dragon rename breath it? Launcher. Okay, nice. There's so many names for missiles. Do you want me to get it maxed uh, out? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be polite and say please. Okay, reinforcements at the bottom pentagram. Okay. So yeah, kids, it never hurts to have some polite manners, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's max out Wrath of the Forest. All right. And then uh, move Ignis down. To, and now... To here, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, to the reinforcements. And now I'm going to do something a little fancy. At the very top left uh, okay. strategic point, get archers. Nice. And if there's enough gold, which I believe there almost is, um, get musketeers. Ooh, okay. Yes, yeah, okay, so reinforcements right next to the musketeers, and then call the wave, and then place more reinforcements. Okay. All right, now move Ignis to the left of the bottom Tesla, okay. just like right next to it, so that way he's um, sure. closer to the enemies in the graveyard and stuff. So this is a, a speedrun strategy, actually. When you have max level artillery upgrades, and you get a maxed out shrapnel uh, shot on the musketeers, it actually has higher DPS than any other tower in the game. That's so this right, is I forgot the thing. shrapnel shot. Yeah, it got buffed on non-iOS versions, so it's actually nice. impossible for me to ever match a speedrun on iOS of this game oh, because wow. of that fact. Yeah. That's nuts. Okay. So, reinforcements in the middle pentagram. Okay. Oh, did another Demon Lord spawn? Wow, I'm getting interesting luck here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, free, free those three towers and then place Reign of Fire on the Demon Lord and then call the next wave. I don't know what the percent chance for that thing spawning is. As far as, like, yeah, Demon Hounds versus gold. Demon Spawns. Sorry? It's giving me a lot of gold, at least. Yeah, that's true. Oh, God. Here, free all these towers, and then max out Shrapnel Shot at the top there. Okay. As, as if I need to specify where the Musketeers are, but still. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then let's get Cluster Bomb. Cluster Bomb. Oh, here? Yeah. <laughs> now let's free the towers first before I... Okay, so let's make it possible to, to get it. Yeah, max it out. And then uh, Reinforcements next to Ignis. I could be using the spears for them, but, uh, oh yeah, that, that works. Well, you now. said next to him. I didn't, assumed you didn't mean, like, right on top of him next to him, but still. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, Got uh, okay, so reinforcements at the magma elemental that's closest to the exit. So that one that's there, and then, uh, ran a fire on him and called a wave. Yeah, and then, uh, reinforcements at the bottom for those demons. Oh, no. Yeah, just snipe them out. Yeah, so now it's probably time to max out healing light on the paladins. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Now, uh, I think I can leave Ignis there, right? He, he should be able to take care of the skeleton knights. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. He's at level 10. Okay. He should be fine. Yeah, the, the good thing about Ignis is that I don't really have to babysit him because he'll get to max level just fine. If I was using Hacksaw or something, oh man, that would be a different story. Oh yeah. I don't see what okay, people's so obsession with Hacksaw is. He's really good in this game in particular because of the fact that insta-kills are so much more valuable. Um, you know, it's pretty easy to burst down high HP enemies in a game like Vengeance because they're not that tanky compared to something mm. like a troll breaker. <laughs> Unless you're doing a challenge, maybe. Oh yeah, and a challenge and stuff, but then why are you using a paid hero like Hacksaw in a challenge? Well, I didn't so mean the point this game, I meant in Vengeance, never mind. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so after you free all those towers, get another ranger right next to the other Tesla and max it out. <laughs> We have enough gold for it. Yep, we sure do. Oh, All right. not quite. Or close enough. We're getting there. Now yeah, one more tier yeah. of poison. So, reinforcements in front of the Dark Slayer, and then Reign of Fire him. And then... Oh, um, I accidentally called the wave. Yeah. Oops. Okay, well... <laughs> it's uh... okay, I was going to see that next. You read my mind. Hold on. Okay, which, which barracks is dead right now? Is it the uh, very bottom one? It's this. Yeah, it's this bottom one here. Okay, let's upgrade that one then two paladins as well oh nice that is some fast clicking there i told you i am an experienced clicker <laughs> <laughs> yeah on on ios you can actually click on multiple towers at once with your fingers but um on the ipad at least it usually ends up with me zooming in by accident oh no <laughs> no i missed all two right. of the barracks all right let's place reinforcements behind those paladins <clears throat> Uh, I'm probably going to have to keep on doing that because I know demons are just going to keep on spawning. Yeah, it's true. Uh, so let's get the final barracks up to paladins. And then, um, 
Oh, great. It always blocks the tower right when I want to upgrade I something. I know. It doesn't it, though? No. So we finally got no, paladins. No, no, no. Yes, paladins on everyone. And then let's get level 2 healing light on each one. I believe that's enough HP to sustain them. Yeah, this one's maxed out. Yeah. The other two are... All right, so the strategic point that's nearest to the graveyard, I want to get uh, musketeers there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's beeline to that. Okay. Oh, nice achievement. Nice. Um, okay, so reinforcements on the right entrance <laughs> when when you have the time. Yeah, and then place place rain of fire on the right entrance and call the wave, so that way the lava damages them. Yeah, like that. Okay. There we go. That way the cooldown is preserved a little bit. See how it's almost ready to be used again? Ah, I see. And yet yeah, none of the Dark Slayers got damaged at all by it, which is hilarious, but still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. Um, I think you can probably place it a little bit um, like further to the left. Okay. Uh, okay, so place... I'm going to wait for the rounds to pass. Okay, place reinforcements on that middle pentagram. <laughs> yeah, when you have the chance. And then... I'm trying to frantically click. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to wait for more of those Dark Slayers to um, build up. You can tell that I'm going to use Rain of Fire on them, right? I think... Right oh, no, the reinforcements died. Yeah, they got distracted by the demons that got spawned, so you want me to... Uh, Yeah, yeah, place place them, and then... um. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, just, just use Rain of Fire on them right now. I think this is a good enough time. It's kind of delayed because of the... Wrath of the Forest, but whatever. Yeah. Alright, let's get Max Shrapnel shot on the other Musketeer Tower now. Got you. Right, there we go. I'm not sure if that reaches the graveyard on this version of the game. It should, just barely. If I remember correctly. Alright, perfect. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot to disable that one. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, and then, um, because we just got mostly Magma Elementals left to deal with, might as well get Sniper shot on that middle Musketeer. At what level? Um... Let's get mid-level for, for both of them, actually, now that I think about it. I think we'd rather do that. Yeah, mid-tier. There you go. And, oh, actually, I have enough gold to max it out, so might as well do that instead. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm swimming in money. Nice. Well, yes, you're swimming in 16 gold. It's, you're, you're rich as Bill Gates, and you're buying me lunch later, right? <laughs> all, all, all of my, all of my uh, money is all in um, inventory and, and merchandise at the moment. Hey, it's not in living cash i'm just saying i'm a fat frog man and i get mad hungry when i get cranky so you know better not make me frog and angry i'm just kidding <laughs> oh are you a stress eater <laughs> no I'm all right kidding. so might as well start building up reinforcements near where Vesna's going to spawn yep. do the same thing that we did yep. at the beginning of uh the level where i put them at the bottom Ooh, nice headshot <laughs> there the next time they spawn. i know what a great Looks way to like finish off the last for me meeting. to go postal Okay, here we and, go. And uh, let's get one more Musketeer Tower nearest the middle Tesla. Okay. Yeah, so right there. Go. Yeah, um... So, keep keep Ignis uh, right at the entrance to the graveyard. Okay. we Will do, sir. I will yeah, keep then, him there uh, keep as much as I can. Yeah, keep playing, uh, placing reinforcements underneath that Musketeer. Okay. So that way uh, they can keep on sniping at, at the Vezzy boy. At the Vezzy And then upgrade boy. to Musketeers. <laughs> yeah, the Vezinator. Vezzy Pooh. <laughs> Vizzy poo. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, I'm about to have enough gold for shrapnel shot, so get that on that musketeer. Oh no, all the towers are blocked. Yes. Yeah, look at how much yes. damage they've done to Vesnon already. I Isn't know. that beautiful? Look at that! Look at his health bar go down, folks. That is the power of shrapnel shot, baby. Merc and firepower be like, oh my god. <laughs> all right, max max out the um, shrapnel shot now. Okay. Oh, close enough. We're about to have it. Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. We're inches away. All right, reinforcements behind Vezna to snipe at him. Okay. Yeah, like that. And I got it maxed out on this one, just for your FYI. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, the overcharge killed him too. Nice. nice. Not quite yet. Oh, He's nice. in his second form, folks. He's got seven thousand nine hundred ninety-nine HP. Is he gonna <laughs> go down? I think he will. I don't know. Yeah. Put um. Put reinforcements underneath that middle musketeer, and then uh. When when Vezna attacks them, put Rain of Fire on him. So right now. Yeah, there we go. So th this uh, match is pretty much over. Yep. GG's. Yeah, that went better than I thought. I thought the um, lag was going to kill me or something. Yeah, I for a second there, I was kind of worried because you had mentioned that... Uh, oh no, Ignis died. You sacrificed yourself, buddy. Sacrifice for the team. 
But yes, got got to have one hero death, right? Down yep. goes Dragon Vezanon. Breath. This will finish him off. That's this a is great the way end. To him. Defeat Vezanon. Yes. Here he goes. And he gets his back. Yes, Ignis is back to celebrate. And he's just like, yeah, it's fine. It's a tis a but a flesh wound. <laughs> and he just got to flex his 12 second respawn time. Oh my god. Victory! We did it! Your majesty, Vesnan is no more! Yeah. Party time. Mm, I, there's, there's, General, um... I hereby name thee Defender of Lanyria. So yes, you've been named the Defender of Lanyria. Not to, you know, poop on everybody else from all the previous collabs, but Vadu gets the title. <laughs> Oh kidding. yeah! <laughs> oh, oh my god! Talk about a speed run. Yeah, exactly. I just speed ran to Defender of Lanaria by beating only one level. Although to be fair, you were kind of flexing hard on everybody with uh, using the most one of the most OP heroes in this game, as long as along with one of the most OP towers. So, yeah, look at that. Yeah, Finally, probably, he got the staff. Have, yeah. And GGs, ladies and gents. So that was awesome. Do you have time for a quick Q and A, good sir? Oh sure. Awesome. So, I think the first place to start, obviously, is I assume you've been uh, playing Kingdom Rush since its beginnings, but I guess I would ask, how long have you been playing Kingdom Rush for? Uh, I believe back in middle school, one of my friends just came over and he was showing me some Flash games, and one of them was, was Kingdom Rush. We were just messing around, playing it. I was reading all of the level descriptions and pronouncing King Dinus's name as King Penis instead, oh and making him laugh because <laughs> we were middle schoolers. Oh, that's awesome. Not, not saying that I've matured at all since then, but <laughs> that's my excuse back then, at least, that we were middle schoolers. And we made it up to, uh, I think we beat the Juggernaut with two stars. And then after that, we stopped playing the game. So right before, um, like, starting the second environment. And yeah, that was back in 2011 when it was still, like, a fresh game. But then I got back into it as um, a mobile game. I downloaded it on an iPad because I got an iPad for, for Christmas, I think. The following year so i downloaded the game there and i've been playing it ever since wow well that is an incredible story and another thing that i've noticed that and for any of you guys who've been following voduke's channel you're well aware of the uh i, I don't know what else to call it an art piece a master stroke of uh, a work uh but basically he uploaded an almost five hour long video where he did a tier list of every single kingdom rush hero um that took you a long time to make, I know, and you did quite a bit of research, but I have a question for you on that. So what was your interest, uh, you know, what inspired you to take up this particular part of Kingdom Rush's, you know, game mechanics? What made you so fascinated and interested with the heroes that you decided to go on this, like, epic marathon of analyzing and ranking every single one of them? Well, first of all, awful, awful tier lists on the Kingdom Rush subreddit needed to be put in their place. So I had to make a list of my own that used objectivity, facts and logic, Ben Shapiro style, to prove them all wrong. My <laughs> my joking <laughs> goal with it was that whenever someone posted a tier list on the subreddit, you can just post the link to the YouTube video and say nothing else. Uh, pull a Giga Chad move and just leave. So that way, um, that could become the somewhat official tier list. Now, obviously, most of the conclusions that I come to are still subjective, especially with heroes like Lilith, how much you value RNG and such is going to vary from person to person. Right. But a lot of the math still was, um, you know, stuff to help make it more objective. Like the difference between Bolin and Illyria, Illyria always gets uh, made fun of the most for being the worst hero. But if you do the DPS calculations, she's actually slightly better than Bolin. And the thing is, since most of what they accomplish is just shooting, it makes it pretty easy to compare DPS is like the main reason why one hero is worse than the other. So, uh, it was fun to create something objective analyzing the games. It's much harder to do that with many other aspects of the game. Like, if I was to make a tower tier list, I feel like that, that would be a lot more subjective compared to heroes. Heroes are, are um, easier, I wouldn't say easy, but easier to make a rankings list out of. And so, I did it for them because I like playing with all the heroes. I wanted to, um, prevent buyer's remorse by getting use out of all the heroes that I purchased for the games. So uh, that's another factor. And also because I noticed that Hero Micro has kind of been my main uh, style of gameplay compared to other people. Like you look at MMLH's channel and uh, I can tell that he's a big strategist. He's really big on strategy and analyzing the enemy waves and such. 
Whereas for me, it's always been about speed running and, and microing things. So I I just uh, put my uh, what's the phrase? Focus. <laughs> I was gonna say put, put your time in down. focus. Yeah, I I put my focus into the heroes. I doubled down on the fact that that was kind of my shtick. Uh, hopefully, I don't get known entirely as just the hero guy. <laughs> well, I already know that I'm not. I'm also known as the munchie guy. Right. Two alternate but, uh, personalities, but both very equally important. And I agree with you. As far as just the replayability of this game is insane, and also just the play styles, the amount of flexibility uh, in terms of the approaches and strategies that you can take, the different angles that you can analyze each level and boss fight from. In this instance, you know, you were uh, kind of letting Ignis do his own micro, but still microing him to a limited extent um, and trying to speed run by calling in additional sets of reinforcements and using the rain of fire effectively you guys can all see that everybody has their own different play style but that doesn't necessarily mean that one is wrong or right um it, that's the beauty of kingdom rush you have all these different options and different ways to play the game which is why both me and voodoo and i'm sure the rest of you guys who are watching this video right now love this game um so i guess as a final question to you since i know you've not made a whole lot in the way of Kingdom Rush videos recently. I know you focused a lot recently on Legends of Kingdom Rush. Um, actually, I guess this is a two-part question, but are you planning on making any more Kingdom Rush-related content, not just Legends of Kingdom Rush, but going back to the original four games and I guess maybe also potentially Iron Marines? The second part to this question being, are you hyped for the new Junk World game that Ironhide has recently announced they're going to be releasing, hopefully knocking on wood here pretty soon? <laughs> Yeah, actually, I want to do more lists, not to the same level of insanity as the Hero Rankings one, but more things like uh, ranking every endless mode from, from worst to best, stuff like that for the Kingdom Rush games. That, that would be uh, something that I'm planning on doing some more of. That's a little bit of a spoiler there, doing that one. But other things too, hopefully people don't think I start uh, running out of ideas if I do something like top five strategic points in Kingdom Rush 1. Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, fun fact. There are 1,406 strategic points in the game. Across all four games or just this game or, alone? Or in the series, my bad. Not not in the game, in the series. Wow. Uh, the fact that you yeah. even took the time to calculate that alone is impressive. So hats off to you, good sir. <laughs> uh, d debatably impressive, but most certainly insane. Yes. I think... Um, <laughs> I, I think that would be fun to do because I quite like countdowns. That used to be my favorite thing to watch on YouTube when I first discovered the website. Ironically, close to when I first discovered Kingdom Rush. So I want to do more stuff like that. But uh, when I say not to the same level of insanity as the hero rankings video, I mean I'm not going to be trying so hard to make them objective. Because obviously ranking something like the endless modes is just down to a matter of opinion, right? Like, right. this, there's not really that much objective analysis that you can do. Although, you know, you can still make logical points. Uh, besides that, uh, I might still do some Legends of Kingdom Rush videos. I'm not sure how much people still care about the games, but I haven't really seen any content on YouTube that goes into detail about the individual characters in the game or about the lore of the game. So those are things that I might touch upon if people actually care enough about. I know a lot of people really like the stories of these games. Personally, that was something that I never kept um, up with, like the lore posts that Ironhide sometimes shares. I don't actually read those. I know, heretical, but uh, that's the truth. Oh, it's no um, worries about that. <clears throat> yeah, do you read those? I can't say. I If I have read any of them, if you're referring to like the posts that they put, maybe this was fan written, maybe it was written by uh, some of the community uh, people themselves but i noticed on ironhide's wiki for kingdom rush the kingdom rush wiki underneath certain like parts where it's like the heroes you have their description and then they have like a brief paragraph or two that kind of gives a little backstory to it i have read some of those on the wiki but if there's another place that they're posting them or if it's on their discord server i can't say i've ever looked into or read that in any great amount of detail Oh yeah, those um, the information that's posted on the wiki comes from the official Ironhide website, and the community manager uh, manager Toria she sometimes posts those. I think she writes them herself with consent from the developers. Gotcha. And uh, I think some of the other information comes from the Steam trading cards, but I don't know very much about those. Right. 
Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, but that's that's where the lore comes from. But yeah, I don't I don't keep that much up with it. I just have a general idea of the story. I kind of stopped keeping track after Vengeance, just because um it seemed like the whole thing about the Tear of Alini was kind of dropped from the story because that was mainly what I was focusing on. Right. And uh, they brought in the the big eyeball instead, the Overseer, which does get more information uh, given about it in Legends, but it still is kind of a detail from the original story so i'm hoping that they will go back to that if that's the case i'll probably start reading more about the lore did you hear that just right now oh somebody in the background made a noise or something yeah yeah that, that was my dad sneezing <laughs> oh no worries so back to, <laughs> to the second part or half of the original question so are you hyped for the new junk world game i'm assuming you've seen the trailer for it yes i made a meme about it oh boy and oh. uh <laughs> there you go <laughs> spicy memes folks. yeah yeah, SpongeBob memes. The real Morgan loves them. Awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty hyped for for the game. I'm looking forward to uh, making videos about it. In fact, if I get into the habit and really find myself enjoying making those countdown lists for the Kingdom Rush games, then I'll do the same for Junk World as well. Well, that's awesome to hear. And yeah, I am definitely excited and hyped for it as well. I hope it comes to Android in the U.S. soon. Uh, I know it's releasing in other countries and on other platforms first. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to partake in that soon and be able to participate in that. Uh, but Voduk, Munchie, I wanted to thank you for your time. Uh, collab with me on this video today. It was an absolute blast. I had a huge amount of fun, and I hope you guys did as well. Um, so, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of fun too. Thanks. We can do this again sometime soon. Well, hopefully. Absolutely. That Hopefully there will be some uh, opportunities in the future to collab with you as well. Um, but in any case, ladies and gents, if you want to be a part of this series going forward, now that we're done with the main campaign of Kingdom Rush 1, I may or may not decide to go on to the post-game levels or go on to the next Kingdom Rush game, which would be Frontiers, depending on how many people we get active and involved in this upcoming series. But if you guys want to participate in either the post-game of Kingdom Rush 1, the original edition here, or if you guys want to participate in Frontiers, please make sure to join my Discord server. I will leave a link to it in the comment section of today's video. There's also links to it in other episodes. I believe the Troll Champions analysis is another one. Also, just wanted to put out a brief announcement, although this is something I will be uploading separately later on. Uh, we are going to be doing Saturday game nights on my server. So basically, anybody who is a member of the server is welcome to participate in these. But basically, there will be some cash prize giveaways and uh, Steam giveaways as well. And basically, we're going to just chill, play some different games, have a fun time, and whoever ends up doing the best will end up getting some of those prizes. So if you guys want to participate in that as well, please make sure you're a member of the Discord server. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it and have a fun time. And I will see you guys all in the next YouTube video. Say goodbye, Munchie. Bye, Ruby.